We, we've talked about defensive tackles needing to take on double teams and being bigger. It would also seem that you would need that thumper linebacker in the middle with this defense because um, there's some of those offensive linemen that are going to be exposed that could get right to your uh, middle linebacker potentially. Yeah, so it's really a combination. So those defensive ends have to rush the passer well, stop the run. The defensive tackles have to do the same. They have to occupy their, uh, the people they're supposed to occupy. Um, it's it's different. So if you can get if you can get those guys, everybody do, playing their game and everybody doing their job. And I like to say, in his defense is very very simple. Um, it's everybody starring in their role, and it's kind of the the Bill Belichick of you have a job, do your job. Um, I used to say you have a role, star in your role. And everybody has to do their job in this defense. In a gym sports defense, everybody is equal. Everybody has an equal part. So the linebackers, I, I, they having a thumper is always nice in that run game. But if everybody does their job up front, they're going to occupy some guys. And even though those defensive, uh, offensive tackles are sometimes free runners, that means that defensive tackle has to make that play. And then when they cover that offensive tackle, that linebacker got to make a play. So they all go hand in hand. It's kind of a jigsaw puzzle with Jim Schwartz, and, and everybody's got to do their part. And you'll see how well coached they are and how fundamentally sound they are when the Browns get to the uh, game field, for sure. Yeah, and Jim Schwartz alluded to that. He said, we've, we've done it with bigger guys, and we've done it with smaller linebackers. Um, the thing was they have to be instinctual, um, and they have to be aggressively coming downhill, um, not really being passive and trying to read. Know where you're supposed to be and get there. Yeah, I and mean, you know one of the, one of the things I heard him say was, you know, this is a uh, defense that a, a high school coach could break down. And it really is true. It's there's nothing on there that you go, oh my gosh, this is this is new age stuff. He finds great matchups. They're fundamentally sound. They play downhill. They're very aggressive. Um, they're secondary. They're going to play more one high hat. They're going to allow those corners to play man. Um, there's not a lot of um, bells and whistles with this defense. It's very fundamentally sound. Everybody is very aggressive. Everybody has a job to do. Uh, it, it, it's, it's fun as a, uh, as a high school coach because I break it down and go, okay, that's why his defenses are good because everybody knows what they're doing and everybody gets to play fast. And once your mind is thinking, your feet don't move. And Jim Schwartz seems to get these guys not thinking and just let them fly around and play, and they make a ton of plays. So it's, it'll be very exciting for uh, the Browns' defense for sure.